I've been meaning to come to the Albert Einstein Memorial for years, and I've been living in the DC area for almost a decade, so it was about time. This is gonna be the first episode of my DC bucket list. My name is Paul, and I've been living around Washington, DC for about a decade. As a local, I never really worried about doing the iconic or signature things that you can only do in this area. But I think I'm going to move away in the next year, and I'm an avid watcher of Clazare's Irish bucket list, so I got an idea. I decided I wanted to do everything cool there is to do in DC, and I won't stop until I leave. This is my DC bucket list. When I first got the idea to do a DC bucket list, which is entirely stolen from Clazare's Irish bucket list video series, I realized I didn't actually know all the things that I could do that are cool in DC. So I put out a question to my Facebook friends and my Twitter followers asking for suggestions. I made a huge list of possible things I could be doing in the DC area, and that list is available for you to rank in a link listed in the doobly-doo below. Uh, it is to a Google Doc form, and just rank each item on the list from one for eh, to five, you're very interested in seeing me do this thing. It's a pretty long list, but you don't have to rank every single thing on it. Just rank the ones that are interesting to you in any way, from one to five. At the end of the form is a space where you can put in your own suggestion for cool things to do around Washington, D.C. I'm not going to have time to do literally everything that is possible in this area before I move away, but I'm going to try to do a lot of them. And I want to do the things that are most interesting for you to see in this video series. If I'm suggested to do something that I really don't want to do or that opposes one of my ideals, like it's anti-feminist or it's racist or something like that, I'm not going to do it. But that still leaves a lot of options open to us. Today I decided to take the metro down from Silver Spring, where I live, to the Foggy Bottom metro and then walk over here to the Albert Einstein Memorial. Because I like Albert Einstein and I've never been here. I'm a local. I should come here all the time. It's very cool. I haven't climbed on him yet. You might get some footage of that in a minute. So this is episode one of my DC bucket list. I've made it here, I've checked out the memorial. It's very cool, and I saw a couple things along the way as well. What should I do next? What'll be in episode two? If you don't care about the form and the huge list of ideas I already have, just leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think I should do in the Washington DC area. Or tell me anything that matters to you because I wanna know what matters to you. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up, share it. Maybe this playlist of DC bucket list videos will get pretty popular. Who knows, we'll see. Thank you for making it to the end of my vlog. The end of my vlog is where I always say tomorrow, will be even better.